Another prominent book by Rousseau is The Social Contract. It is about his central belief in politics. That a state is legitimate only when guided by the general will of its members. There are two conflicting sides that Rousseau argues, which makes it hard for interpretation. First, he states that following the general will allows one to have diversity and freedom. But the other is that general will also encourages the well-being of the whole and may cause problems concerning particular beliefs of individuals. But he explains these ideas further, stating there are different stages to general will. First is that naturally, individuals have private wills to their selfish interests. By the second state, individuals assume the identity of a citizen and sets aside selfish interests to favor laws that allow all to coexist with equal freedom. The third stage states that a person's interest will identify an agreement with the populace as a whole. Another reason for Rousseau's argument for general will was his belief in religious toleration. In his next book called Emile, he discusses his ideas about education. Essential idea is that education should be carried out in harmony with the child's natural capacities. He divided up education for children in three different stages. Infancy, then kids around the age of 12, and then puberty or early adulthood. For infancy, he stresses that babies should not have the idea of human relations being dominated over others. His concern was that this can be easily fostered in the child if he or she depends on attention they get from parents when they cry. So the child must be protected from physical harm, but at the same time, the child should be left as free as possible. Next is when a child is from 12 or so, the education program moves on to abstract skills and concepts. He encourages practical experiences rather than through books or formal lessons. The last stage from early adulthood states that the children's period of isolation ends as they take interest in others, especially in the opposite sex. He cautions the danger of kids willing to disregard their worth for recognition of others. The final period of this stage involves the tutor changing from a manipulator of the child to a trusted advisor or a friend. Rousseau is often called a hypocrite though because his own children didn't use this method of education and instead they were sent to fondling homes. Next, Rousseau's writings on language are contained in a discourse on the origins of inequality which was mentioned earlier. He tells us that human beings want to communicate when they recognize the similarities between others. But at the same time, he raises the question about why language, rather than gestures, are needed. His answer is that tone and stress of linguistic communications are crucial as much as its content. He also states that language and song have a common origin in the communication of emotion, but they become separated as a result of the invention of writing.